Hi there, it's Louise, Miss Louise from Joyful Sounds Music Studio, and I'm just here to talk to you a bit about our annual Joyful Sounds Musical Olympics competition. Uh, for those of you that are new to the studio and those of you that are returning, uh, the competition's quite different this year, so I thought it'd be worth a quick little synopsis. So basically, every student should have one of these Musical Olympics um, cards. Inside you will find a bingo card um, and on this side here you will find a description of everything connected to the bingo card. So for example if you see the word teach on your bingo card, if you look over on the other side and see the word teach, you will find that it, you need to teach someone in your family how to do something on your instrument of study. It can be from your current lessons or if the person that you're teaching is a beginner, start from the beginning. An actual teaching moment should be unique and take approximately 10 to 20 minutes. And the person being taught must sign the dictation book. So you'll find everything that you need to know in order to get one of these squares filled in is listed on this side over here. So just make sure that you read it really carefully and just work away at them. You have the entire month of February to get your bingo card filled. Um, all of the teachers at the studio have bingo daubers in their rooms and when you come with the um, item done properly, they're just gonna tap it off on your thing. Um, the biggest questions we've gotten so far are about the practice minutes. So a 20 minute practice session has to be done 20 minutes at once. So it's not 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night. It's a 20 minute practice session and someone has to sign to verify that you did it. Uh, 100 minutes is over the span of seven days, over a week. So when you tally up your minutes in your dictation book, if you have a 100 minute week and it's signed, you will get a bingo dauber. So that is the biggest thing that's going on. In the meantime, we are also tracking all your minutes anyway. And every 100 minutes that you achieve in the month of February, you will be moving up our staff. So in Studio B, which is down the hall from our main, where our private lessons are, we have a huge staff similar to this one over here, um, but with a bass clef and a treble clef, it's, it's massive. And every single student here at the studio has a note head with your name on it. Uh, and they're color coded by teacher. Uh, so every time you practice 100 minutes, um, every Friday we tally up and we're keeping track at the studio. All our students would know our teachers mark your attendance and then we record your minutes. So every 100 minutes that you hit, um, you're gonna be moving up a space or a line on the staff. Um, the whole month of February and your bingo card um, Once the whole month of February is done and we collect the bingo cards Those are also going to count for moves up the staff So every bingo line whether it's down or across or diagonal is going to be another move up the staff um, So you will be able to watch it and we'll be taking pictures as we start seeing students moving up 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 the staff and um, Hint hint the more you practice the more you're gonna move up what does that all mean? At the end of the month, once all the bingo cards are collected and you've moved up the staff, every movement, every line or space that you move is equal to a ballot. So if you end up with 13 moves up the staff from your minutes and your bingo lines, uh, you're gonna get 13 ballots. And we have a ton of prizes this year. It's incredible. Um, you can see on the back of our card, there's a lot of uh, supporters and sponsors. O'Regan's Toyota Dartmouth, Long & McQuaid, East Coast Credit Union, Fall River Dental, Dairy Queen, Grill & Chill, uh, Bill Horner MLA, The Fourth Lock, um, Joyful Sounds Music Studio, and also some friends that have donated some prizes. Um, tons of stuff. A karaoke machine, mastermind gift cards, we have a Kindle Fire tablet um, with these really cool hoodies, uh, chapters gift cards, long McQuaid gift cards, movie passes, an athletic sports card, two of them where they actually like set it and fit it to your mouth, which is amazing if you're into sports, which we have tons of students that are quite athletic. 22 Dairy Queen Blizzard treats, uh, fourth lock gift card. Anyway, tons of prizes. So what's gonna happen at the end of the month? If you have 13 ballot entries, we're gonna have all the prizes listed on in little bags and you're gonna come and put your ballots into the bags of the prizes that you would like to win. And then we're gonna do our big draw. 
Um, so the bingo card is active for the entire month of February. So starting on February 29th on the Saturday, teachers will be starting to collect them back in. And then all that following week, we'll be collecting all of them back in. We'll have all the minutes recorded. And then we will be giving you your ballots, hopefully the week before March break is when we would like to get all of that done. Um, we also will be looking at our staff to see who our ultimate Olympians are. So those are the ones that reach way up the staff, which usually means they have practiced and practiced and practiced. It's, it's a fabulous uh, event that we've been doing since 2014. Um, it's always a lot of fun. It's a great internal challenge with some external motivation and it just makes our students really musical. And don't forget that we also have our Molto Benny Awards which are going all year long. So your practice minutes from September all the way through have been recorded and will continue to be recorded um, so that we can make announcements at our year-end recitals of the people with the most practice minutes over the entire year. So keep those practice minutes going. We're hoping that February is going to get another boost in your practice minutes and then continue and get you really making sure that you're writing them down because if you're practicing um, you should be getting some credit for that. Um, and if practicing is difficult for you, um, I did send an email to parents about what practice should look like. And um, I'd love for you to take time to read that, check your junk in case it's landing into your um, spam or junk folders. Um, but practicing is really, you know, diving deep. And, and it's not easy to practice. It takes time, it takes effort, but you know, we don't go from doing, uh, putting our skates on to doing full pirouettes or crossovers without practice. Same thing with an instrument. You can't play a pop song um, without putting the practice time in. And the teachers ha are listing what, what they should be practicing and that's what's really key is making sure you do that. So enjoy the Musical Olympics. Have fun. If you have any questions, let us know. Don't lose your card. Um, if you don't have one yet, they are at the studio pop by and get one um, or grab it from your teachers. We're already seeing some of our active listening artwork up on the wall, which is fantastic um, and seeing amazing practice minutes. So get to work um, and enjoy and we will see you soon.